The shape of the egg is this weird ellipsoid, not symmetrical, but it's an ellipsoid. And so as I squeeze, then every part of the shell or most of it is under compression. And this eggshell, when it's being compressed along the direction of the shell is very, very strong. But if you put your, uh, if you bang it against something hard like this, then you'll, or if you push with your thumb with a very high pressure here, then you're pushing in and you're deforming it inward. And you're almost, instead of, um, Instead of compression, you're putting it in tension. You're pulling it apart. That's what tension is. And these things are not very strong in tension. They're very strong in compression, though. So if you put your hand around evenly and squeeze, then you usually can't get it to break. But if you put your thumb and squeeze really hard, you know you can. And it serves a very special purpose. It obviously needs to be strong because birds, you know, will sit on their eggs. And so it has to be strong enough to withstand that. But also, it acts as a, as a semi-permeable membrane that allows gas to go in and out, like oxygen to go in, and carbon dioxide to come out while keeping the liquid held on the inside, the yolk and the white that's on the inside. So it allows gases to transfer back and forth, you know, a, a basic form of respiration before the, before the chicken is fully developed or before the bird is fully developed. It's allowing CO2 and oxygen to pass back and forth through microscopic holes in the egg there. And the egg is obviously very strong. It's made mostly of something called calcium carbonate. So some calcium atoms, you think about calcium making your bones strong, right? Carbon, oxygen, so calcium carbonate, right? Learn anything at mathandscience.com.